What's up gang, Canadian Computer Collector here, and I want to talk about this M1 MacBook Air. We thought this thing was going to be e-waste after Apple pushed a security update that froze out peripherals until you had logged in. Turns out there's actually a clever workaround, and if you stick around, you can find out how you could save your M1 MacBook Air from the dumpster. Okay, so you might remember from the last video that we put out, my brother had this M1 MacBook Air with a keyboard and trackpad that didn't work. And it's because it was water damaged. Or liquid damaged, or some kind of gelatin. So initially, we thought, no big deal. We scoop the thing up because we'll just use an external mouse and keyboard. And at first, it really wasn't a big deal. We used this thing to edit a video and it was all hunky-dory until Apple pushed this security update that locks out all USB features until you've logged in. So obviously with a machine with a broken keyboard and trackpad, that's not going to be feasible. Since we couldn't use any input devices, it was looking like this thing was going to be e-waste and there was really no other way around it. But being the Canadian computer collectors, we shelved it instead of throwing it out until we could find a solution that just sort of fell into our lap. After the video, a few friends of the channel reached out. Steve from Mac84 offered to repair the laptop, uh, though he did say there would be some additional costs to it, of course, because we may have to replace some parts. We figured, yeah, that might be a good route to go, but we're not really in a rush here. Steve's offer was super generous, but we still felt like we could get a working machine out of this. It's still a functional laptop, it just doesn't have working inputs. The trackpad and the keyboard are kaput. So some of you had some great suggestions in the comments, and we tried a few of them out. We tried using a genuine Apple keyboard and mouse, but unfortunately that didn't seem to make a difference. So we stepped it up to something a little bit newer. We tried to find a genuine Apple keyboard and mouse that used a lightning connector, and that didn't work either. But it did lead to the solution. I don't <laughs> own one of those, and I didn't want to buy one. Yeah. So my friend Taylor, who has a newer M1 MacBook, said, you can borrow mine. It's got the lightning port. She brought it over. I connected it with the USB-C to lightning cable that came with my iPhone I got from work. Doesn't work. She says, I've been using Macs my whole life. Why don't I give it a try? I say, go ahead. I've already tried everything. But she sits down and then suddenly she's just going, okay, okay. Well, I'll be hornswoggled and call me Willie. We are in startup mode. <laughs> How does that work? We know that none of the keys are responsive because we checked beforehand and it wasn't like just some of them were broken by the coffee. Mm -hmm. The whole keyboard module was not okay. functional. So it was coffee. <laughs> yeah. As far as I've been told, coffee was spilled, killing the battery, trackpad, and keyboard. Oh. We ended up restoring it to the factory OS, which wouldn't have the USB lock in place. And the best part is the USB locks don't occur in startup mode. So we were able to do everything that we needed to. So why would that work? I'm not 100% sure. My only guess would be that because it's a startup recovery mode, perhaps the three buttons complete a separate circuit on a different rail that isn't damaged by the liquid. I have no idea. It just like seems really odd to me when he told me we found a way to get it into startup mode using the keyboard. I thought, but that's impossible. There's a reason why I hadn't even tried that before, and that's because none of the keys work. But even if you are certain they don't work, try pressing the key combo for your device anyway. So we have a functional machine, but how do we get there? How do you get there with your own? The first thing you wanna do is boot the machine by holding command, control, and power. This is gonna give you startup options, which we affectionately called startup mode. So from there, you're gonna click on options and then recovery. And this recovery is gonna download Monterey. Monterey doesn't have these same lockout options. So if you're comfortable with Monterey, you can stick with it there, leave everything plugged in and go to town. But if you do wanna run an update and run a newer OS, one thing you might wanna do is make sure your Bluetooth keyboard is paired and that you don't unpair it or unplug anything for that matter until the update's finished. Once you've updated your OS, you're gonna log back in and go to settings, system and security, security. Then you're gonna to go to configure accessibility switch. And then you're gonna set the rule to always allow USB accessory use. And this should keep you safe. But if you run into problems again, you can always shut her down and then go into recovery again. If you had a similar issue and you managed to use these instructions to save your machine, totally, please let us know in the comments. Uh, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Sorry that we waited to the end to get the instructions in there, but at the end of the day, this was about the journey. And isn't it always about that? Uh, yes. Yabba dabba doo! Shout out to our patrons, if I didn't say that already, and if I did, now you got two.